All right, what is up, everybody? It's Gorilla Man here. We're back with another Car Mechanic Simulator video. This will be episode three, and look what we got to work on today. It is the Salem Spectra Fastback. I did not realize, but this is basically a Mustang, and Mustangs are one of my favorite cars. Uh. What would make it even better is if they had like a 69 GT, which this kind of resembles it, except for this little back area. But other than that, this is like absolutely perfect. There is a lot to do in this car. Mostly we know everything except for the brakes and one of the things with the power then I will definitely be putting this on the dyno by the end of the video just to see what kind of power it makes. See if you can beat out that Corvette from last video. All right, let's get started. All right, so first we will start off with fixing all of the body parts. So we need the uh, front bumper, left door, left fender, right fender, left headlight, and trunk. All right. So we need to go to body part shop. We will look up the the Salem. Oh no, wait. The Salem. Fast. Oh. Salem Spectre. Okay, yeah, yeah. We got this. We got this. Alright, there we go. So we need front bumper, left door, left fender. So front bumper, left fender, left door. Now we need right fender, left headlight. Let's see. Left headlight. Where's, where's, where's the right fender? There it is. Then trunk. Trunk is the last guy. Um, my, okay, there we are. All right, we will, oh, nope, nope. We need this, this is our this. Leg out. That one out. Take you. Take the door off. And the trunk. And we'll just swap straight back and put that in. Ooh, come on. Alright. Alright. And one more piece. Two more pieces. All right, all the body parts are fixed. Um, we will toss this. Actually, we'll look underneath the hood. See what we got here. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! Still think it's super weird how empty they make these engine bays look, but I guess all you got in here is the brake booster, battery, and the engine. Not much in this car when it came out, I guess. All right, take out this fuel filter. And somewhere along the engine power has failed, it says. So you need to get this air carb out. Take off this front cover. Carburetor is out. And then let's just think, where else would the power fail before we tear apart this entire thing? Um, just start checking parts here. Ah. Oh, oh four barrels. Covers are all good. I guess let's just start pulling this stuff off. Get car raiders. Who is that? Oh, there's a gasket on there. That was up 70%. Oh. Why is it so black? Oh, okay. I was going to say, I thought there was a really bad part in there, but never mind. There's not. Take a peek in the side of these. No. Dang. Okay. Oh, let's pop off this manifold. My goal is to buy one of these for the from the auctions, and then I'm going to see if you can put a turbo on it, or maybe an old uh, supercharger. 
and then maybe I don't know maybe sell it maybe keep it I'm not sure I still really haven't figured out what the auctions do yet mainly because I haven't gotten there I need like a whopping 9,000 experience just to even park the car here oh all the rocker oh this is awful oh they don't make us take off battle springs though that'd be bad Push rod, push rod. These newer cars. Nobody uses push rods. Oh, what are we missing? What is. Oh, wires. Ah, oh, duh. Oh, spark plug one. I think we pulled anything off yet. Ooh, ignition wires were bad. Okay, okay. That's a good sign. That means we only got one more thing to find in here. Okay, those all look good. Hey, this distributor cap looks a little fishy to me. Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, never mind. I'm just crazy. Whoa, those spark plugs are black on the end. I don't think are they? Oh, I guess they're good. Um Take all these off. All right. <laughs> Push rods. steering right down it looks bad too nothing on the top huh well that was a waste of time we unveiled it nope not yet oh well, I'm gonna pop this up maybe it's the oil pan why would that cause a loss of engine power though This will also take care of our uh, engine oil drain, too. Huh. Anybody see anything wrong? I do not. Okay, well, maybe it's in the gearbox. Uh, we'll find out next, but anyways, I'm gonna, let's cut to all these pieces. Steering rack has to come off. These retro rims. Oh, those are just like scream muscle car right there. All right. Pop the brakes off. Pop the cup cap. Oh nope. Wait a second. You need to take that knuckle off. Outer tie rods come off. Inner tie rod. Okay, let's go over to this other side. Alright. Ooh, all these look really bad. Ah, and the knuckles bad too. Dang it. Why you gotta be hurting me like this? Come on. Okay, let's go to the top one first. Oh, well. Oh. Okay. Loosen the sky. Shock absorber. Alright. That's the bottom one. Oh. Oh man, that rust looks so nasty. Alright. Now with the front. Work my way to the back. Ooh, got some leaf springs that are going bad. At least bring you bolts that are going bad.
That's so simple. Those just only require one one bolt just to be taken out. Alright. Oh, looks like we got a bad yep. Okay, drive axle. Okay, cover to the other side really quick. Oh, oh, where are we? There we go. And pop this rim off. I'm just gonna get to that hub housing really quickly. I don't know if drum brakes are better or worse than the uh, caliper style brakes in taking apart. I think the drums are probably a little bit worse because they require just a tad bit more effort. All right, let's go through and check everything's taken off. Yeah, we got all those guys. Got all those guys. Got all those. Still gotta paint it. All right, so we're missing one part up in the engine bay. What the hell could it be? Oh, don't tell me it's like radiator. No, radiator looks perfect. Huh. Maybe the block is bad. No, block wouldn't be bad. Pop this water pump and see what we find underneath. Maybe we got a bad timing chain. Dang, all of this looks brand spanking new. Oh, I should be a clip that's bad. Come on, there we go. What do you got? What do you got? 20. Oh, found it. Oh, my. Ignition distrib distribution rotor. What is that and why did... Oh, my. Well, we tore apart the entire top end of the engine for quite literally nothing. Uh -huh. Oh, ooh, shadow looks really nice, actually. Wow. All right. Uh, anyways, I'll be right back. I'm going to buy all the parts for the car that we just took out. See you there. I'm back. So off camera, I, I bought all the parts that I needed to put the car back together, and then I also put these uh, the heads and manifolds back on because, I mean, we didn't really need to take them off in the first place, so just wanted to make everything a little bit quicker. Alright, and now we're going back in, we're going to take we'll put the info, intake manifold back on. Put the ignition wires, carburetor one. Alright, carburetor two. So weird, we don't have, like nobody uses carburetor engines anymore. Alright, drop in a new fuel filter. Toss back on this timing cover. All right. Yeah, earlier today I was uh, talking to one of my friends uh, who also has a YouTube channel. His name, uh, YouTube channel is The Squad, and I'll, I'll link him down below in the description. But me and him were talking about uh, doing a, uh, a vlog because uh, we live in Iowa right now and Iowa's just about to get a bunch of snow for this winter time. And I think it would be fun if we put a, uh, a drifting vlog up because he has a GoPro will mount to the side of the car and everything. So I don't know, tell me guys, see, maybe you want to see some of that. I think it will be, be pretty fun, see something new to try out. Because uh, I have a... Uh, 2010 Hyundai Genesis, which is a rear wheel turbo car, which will be quite fun in the snow. This is my first time putting it in the snow, and I guess I'll find out, but I think it'll be I think it'll be quite quite the fun time. Alright, gotta assemble up this bottom pan. Alright. Alright, go here to this end link. on this hub housing. Toss on that new one. New one goes on this side anyways. Break this. Cap. Break pads. Uh, steering rack. That's what I need to put on. Go around to these sides. 
man, I really hope they let me repaint this this car a good color. Not no poop green or whatever. Yeah, that weird looking green they got now on it. Meh. It's not my favorite. Oh, can I have a stair knuckle on there before you can put a tie rod on? Uh, duh. I can't forget there's a small rubber bushing around here somewhere that I still need to take off and put back on. Lucky for me it was already on the parts list. But I do need to take it off still. Alright, upper suspension arm. Uh oh. My dog's growing off. Um, what's next? Oh. This Oh, oh no. Don't put that one back on. Did we not pick up? Oh, I can't even tell. A ventilated brake disc? I guess I did not buy a new one of those. My bad. Okay. Cap on. Get those old retro rims back on this baby. Alright. I think we got all the front done. Now this. Ooh. Not the body. There we go. Ooh. Let's have a little bit of a moment there. Alright. Big shoe. Drum. And rip. Swing over here to this other side. Symbol. Oh, I gotta still find that small rubber bushing though. Alright, swing up underneath here. Slap on these new U bolts. And a leaf spring you bolt also. I am not on my game. Alright. So where would the small rubber bushing be? Oh, oh. That was not difficult at all. Never mind. Okay. Let's check our little task list. Alright, so that looks good. So we just gotta put the oil filter and all that on. Okay, yeah. Just gotta fill it up with some new oil. Which is probably gonna be some WD-10 or something. That's what every single one is. Where is the oil filter? There it is. Where's the fill cap? 10W30. What do you know? They need to fix that animation. It's a little bit screwed up right there. Alright, pop that hood down. Let's move this pretty guy to the paint shop. Roll over to the painting booth. Ooh. Oh, see, we can make it whatever we wanted. Oh, factory color is so crap. We'll do it anyways, though. It's what the customer wants, and what the customer wants is always right. Oh, so shiny. Oh, baby. Ah, oh, I got stuck there for a second. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, that wood dashboard. Oh, man. I love this car. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching us put together this roughly 69 Mustang. Oh, the Salem, was it the Salem Spectre Fastback, as they like to call it. Let's sell it really quick, see what we get. Oh no! Okay. Little 
a little bit of a noob new move by uh, by me on this on this part <laughs> I forgot to put the clips back on all right there you go. now we'll sell it oh got a good 7,000 got about 300 experience well thank you guys for watching the video if you liked what you saw leave a like subscribe maybe drop a comment below tell me something else you guys would like to see in the future next episode oh Looks like we might be finally getting to the newer, newer Mustangs. I'm excited. I'll see you guys there.